Hi and welcome to some of the best tech tips and tricks I can show you in 6 minutes or less. I'm going to walk you through installing some of the most commonly upgraded pieces of hardware in a computer and along the way, point out a little bit about them. This is a motherboard, and it's the base component that everything else in your computer connects to. And I mounted it to a plate so you can see it a little bit better. Now, the first thing I'm going to install is memory, or in technical terms, RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, and it stores most of the information for all the programs you have open on your system. And I have to say, it's the most likely piece of hardware you'll be upgrading if you're installing a new operating system. So if you're going from Windows XP to the new Windows Vista, you're probably going to need to add a little bit more RAM and how much RAM you need depends on what you're going to be doing. So if you're going to play graphic intensive games or edit audio and video, you're going to need a lot of RAM, like one or more gigs for Windows XP. And if you're running Vista, you're going to need even more than that. But for a basic XP system, 512 megabytes is the sweet spot, and that's about two gigs for Vista. Now it's important to know that not all RAM works or even fits in every motherboard, so make sure you get the right stuff by looking it up on the manufacturer of your computer or motherboard's website or go to the website of a company that makes memory, like Crucial.com. Now, let's install a stick of RAM into one of the three slots on this motherboard. The first thing we need to do is locate the RAM slots. Then on the first slot, open the two tabs that are usually white by pushing them away from each other. Now pick up the RAM by its edges and don't touch the pins. Place it into the slot by lining up the notches in the RAM with the pegs in the slot and apply even pressure on both sides of the stick until the two white tabs snap into the grooves on both sides of the RAM. Oh, and you're probably going to have to press pretty hard to make this happen. If you want to remove a stick of RAM to replace it or check it in another system, just push the two white tabs back open, but don't push them hard or the RAM stick will jump out. And that's all there is to installing RAM. Now, let's talk about expansion slots. What are expansion slots? Well, if you've ever had a computer with a graphics card or a dial-up modem in it, it was most likely in an expansion slot. There are three main types of expansion slots, AGP, PCI, and PCI Express. The motherboard we're working on only has one AGP and three PCI slots. The AGP or accelerated graphics port is the small three inch brown slot. This is the one that a lot of graphics cards plug into, and it's only for graphics cards, hence the name Accelerated Graphics Port. Down from that we see the white 3.5 inch PCI or Peripheral Component Interconnect slots. Kind of a weird name I know, but most expansion cards use these. For instance, internal dial-up modems, expansion cards for your broadband network, or just some extra USB ports. They're also used for low-end graphics cards. PCI Express or PCIe is kind of the next generation AGP and PCI. It handles both high-end graphics cards and other devices like your extra USB ports. You can see this motherboard has three different types of PCI Express slots next to the regular PCI slot. There's the X4, X16, and X1 slots. There's also a PCI Express X8, but this motherboard doesn't have one. A card that fits into an X1 slot will fit into an X4 slot. So basically what I'm saying is, any PCI Express card will fit into any slot it's made for, and any of the larger PCI Express slots. But don't let any of this stuff discourage you. It's no harder to install a PCI Express card than it is to install a PCI or AGP card. Now, let's actually install a card. I'm going to put a graphics card into my AGP slot. So pick up the card by the front plate and the back edge. Once again, don't touch the pins, or any other part of the card. Place the card in the slot by lining up the notches in the card with the pegs in the slot, and apply even pressure on both sides of the card until it's seated firmly in the slot. To remove it, just put one hand on the back edge of the card and your other hand on the front plate, and pull up while gently wiggling. The only real difference between installing a PCI card and installing an AGP or PCI Express card is that some AGP and PCI Express cards have locking mechanisms in the form of a plunger, that makes sure that the card stays seated in its slot. In the case of the plunger type, just pull the plunger out and push the card in. 
then let go of it. If the case you're putting the card in has a screw to secure the card to the case, you'll probably want to go ahead and put it in. I would like to point out that some motherboards have different color expansion slots. All the PCI slots could be orange and the AGP slot red, so don't count on color as your guide. Also, some high-end graphics cards may require more power than is supplied through the slot. In that case, you'll have to plug it in via a connector on the power supply, but consult your manual for more information on that. I didn't want to bore you with massive amounts of technical detail, which are helpful at times, but instead show you how to make some easy upgrades to your computer. I hope you enjoyed this, and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.